Hello everyone, Sophia here. Today I am going to swatch a set of shimmering inks that I got. They're new to me. I bought them on Reddit, a subreddit called Pen Swap. They normally sell fountain pens, but there's generally some inks on there. And it's just individuals selling them the stuff that they don't need anymore or want anymore. And this is my third time purchasing something on there and every time it has come very nicely packaged and these are hand labeled. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, go check it out on Reddit. I don't have any shimmering inks. I just got into, um, I used Day Atramentis Document Black brown and dark blue for years. I went through maybe 10, 10 plus bottles of those three waterproof inks for sketching before I ever got into any other inks until a few months ago when I got my first ink order from Colt Pens. This, no, I got my ink order from Goulet Pens. It's a US based company and they have samples for about $2.50. I got these for about $2.50 on the website and free shipping um, on PenSwap with free shipping. And I don't have any shimmering inks. I got a set to try that were sheening inks. Before that, I didn't really know about sheen or shimmer or anything. Um, before, a, a few months ago, before placing this I got the black waterproof sampler. I went on Goulet to get the black waterproof sampler and in doing that found the sheening inks and that's really my first introduction into even different properties that inks have besides being different colors. So I thought I would give shivering, shimmering inks a try and I'm gonna swatch these all out for you on camera. So I did hear that you're supposed to shake these up really good but I'm also using materials that are super easily washable, so I'm gonna get down in the bottom to hopefully pick up some of that shimmer. And basically shimmer is just glitter particles. Uh, they do some really nice things with their color schemes. Uh, there's all kinds of colors of shimmer particles that they can put in. And then, of course, all colors of ink that they can add them to. So this one is called Colorverse SE Time for Reflection. And I'm for these larger swatches, I'm just using this pocket knife that I got at an antique shop. And for the writing, I'm going to use this brow snib. This is the 1.0 nib. And that's a pretty light color. I'm gonna really get in there with these to make sure if the sheen or if the shimmer is gonna come through, it will come through in my writing. But also this is a pretty pretty thick for a nib. Um, on a fountain pen it'll be probably a medium or a broad depending um, and so hopefully that'll show hopefully that'll show the glitter particles coming out but even if it doesn't we'll definitely get them in the larger sample so I also painted these out on some pretty cheap paper this is the Midori MD notebook and the A5 size. Um, this is paper that's made for fountain pens so um, and it's good with sheen and different properties like I said I've never tried shimmery inks but this is made for fountain pens. I also have swatched them out on this paper and this is the cheapest paper that I have. It's not made for fountain pens so um, this one is the one I just did the Colorverse SE it has a blue glitter, a blue shimmer, and kind of an ochre color ink on it. Or er, the blue shimmer is in the ochre colored ink. So we'll see how that blue shimmer comes out. 
on the fountain pen paper. Shake it up. This next one I'm doing is Diamine Winter Spice. I really like this brown. I like the color of the ink, you know, even without the shimmer. I actually like that ochre too. I do tend towards neutrals. However, I have been getting into some bright colors lately and enjoy those as well. But I definitely started with just black and blue ink and brown and these colors still really speak to me. Now this one is very juicy when I'm writing with it. I mean this is a fat nib, but also when I was writing with this one it was a lot drier. The color verse was a lot drier and a lot lighter. I mean obviously it's kind of a yellow color so it's going to be lighter than a, than a dark brown, but it was when I was writing with it, it actually darkened up quite a bit in um, drying. So that's Winter Spice. And Winter Spice is this one here. It has a very navy blue glitter in it. And this one is much more of an icy blue, almost a a blue pearl color um, and then this one is is a very true blue kind of a color this ink also has so you can see here the the undertone it's a very warm brown um, and it looks like on here that there's a little bit of green shading as well sheening green sheen and some blue shimmer so this one is very interesting I will I am excited to see how it looks when it dries this next one is called Weringul Half Moon with Dimmed Light. And this is the first Weringul ink I had. I've never tried their inks before, so um, I'm not sure if the shimmering and sheening inks from a company, you know, are good indicators of what all their inks are going to be like, but it's definitely nice to have a selection from different brands just to see what kind of, how they compare. This one also is very light. I have a lot of ink on here and it's still very light in the writing sample. We will see if this one also gets darker as it dries. I will say that it's very nice to write with and I love the name of this half moon with dimmed light it really fits this one is is a gray ink um, let me show you the large sample so this is this is it here um, half moon with dimmed light and it's got it's also got a teal sort of shimmer to it so the glitter in this one isn't the same as either of these. It's somewhere in between. This one's more of a, a white blue or a pearl blue and this one's more of a teal. It's not quite as blue as the one in the Winter Spice. But the ink in the background is is a gray. Definitely a gray. It's kind of hard to tell what the undertone to that gray is. Let me just get a little bit of water. Let's see, let's see what that gray undertone has to it. I'd say very neutral gray. Let's see how that dries. I'll show you, we'll, we'll look back, we'll check back on that one in a little bit and see how it dries. The next one I have is Diamine Enchanted Ocean. 
Now I got um, quite a few diamine ink samples from, not samples, full bottles, full 30 milliliter bottles, which on Colt pens are the same price as the samples, as you can find samples. They were only about 250 for the 30 milliliter bottles. So I bought a lot of colors of the diamine inks and I've been pretty happy with those. And this is, you know, my first um, shimmering ink from them. So let's see. This one is Enchanted Ocean. And I didn't get to pick my inks. Um, the person selling them was just, had already chosen the set and was just giving one sample each. And so, I just, I, there were swatches, or not swatches, but links to the different colors, and it looked like it was, it was very close to my palette. I, you know, I do, I have ventured into bright colors, but I still prefer the, the grays and the neutral tones and the greens and um, stuff like this, so it was, it was pretty good for my palette, so I just uh, went ahead and got them. And this one is called, is from Van Diemen. It's called Bioluminescent. Oh, I didn't show you the, the, the large dried swatch. So this is Diamine Ocean and en en Enchanted Ocean. And it is this one here. So it's got a white, maybe a, maybe the same kind of ice blue shimmer. And it's, a. Um, it's a very dark teal ink. So it looks like it's a teal ink with some darker, some very dark shading, and then a lot of shimmer, a lot of this ice blue shimmer. And that one is the Enchanted Ocean. So I can already see some of that dark shading coming out in there while as it dries so we'll see how that looks in the end um this very much reminds me as i'm writing with it uh, of one of those jelly rolls with with the with the glitter in it um obviously the writing experience is different because i'm using a dip nib and those you know they feel different but that the color of it very much reminds me of that I, it must be the a similar kind of a shimmer that they use. So this one is Van Diemen um, and it is called Bioluminescent. That is a very juicy swatch. This is also my first Van Diemen ink. I was especially excited about this one when I ordered them. When I saw it online, I thought this one was very, very pretty. But when I was doing my initial um, paint out here, I didn't really notice very much shimmer in it, which is kind of okay for me. I don't think I'm going to use these very much. I just wanted to try them. Um, like these super glitter ones, especially the bright ones, I don't. I don't know. I, I think I'll write letters with them and stuff and just use them for fun or for, you know, decorating envelopes or something. But it, so it doesn't bother me that it doesn't have too much in it, but I'm hoping maybe that some more will come out in the, in the swatch on, on the Midori paper. But this one is a, a blue shimmer, a very faint blue shimmer. And it's got teal ink with some maroon sheen so you know some of these are just so have so many layers to them and are so interesting so but that sh the the shimmer to this one is very very faint I can I can't hardly see it on this paper so we'll see how it dries on this paper this one is called troublemaker copper patina and this one also is supposed to have like a it's it's just a bright blue which to me doesn't look too coppery but it's supposed to have kind of a greenish shimmer to it which I think is where the copper patina name comes from but 
again with this one I didn't notice too much of it in my sample that I got so I know you have to shake them I'm not sure if there would be more in the bottle um, and if I just got you know kind of part of the bottle without that much of the actual glitter in it but they're still beautiful colors this one's very nice to write with also a pretty light ink but still shows up great um, in the thin writing actually all of these even this yellow ended up really good I I was a little scared when I started writing with it because it seemed like it was going to be too light but it actually turned out a gorgeous color so that's troublemaker copper patina this is my first troublemaker ink it's also the only troublemaker ink that came in this set so he'll be by himself and then I'll show you here this is the copper patina it has a like a pearl yellow shimmer and it's showing up actually okay here it, it's definitely not showing up as much as the swatch that I saw online is but maybe on this fountain pen paper it'll come back so we'll see um, it has a very bright teal ink and some nice dark blue shading to it so that one is another complex one that will it's it's just so interesting to watch these dry and to see how all the different effects you can get so this one is called Van D this one is from Van Diemen again and it is parrotfish I hope I'm saying that right I might not be this is the first time I've interacted with that brand I haven't even really seen much about them and this ink is called parrotfish this is another one that didn't have very much shimmer when I was when I painted it out on the cheaper paper so we'll have to see again and this one is pretty dry as a writer I wonder if the shimmer will show up in the writing some of them it's very very obvious like this one came out straight away with some shimmer in it and then this one I don't see any right now and this one I don't see any and this one I don't see any but these are very obvious and this one is somewhat obvious which is funny because it wasn't super obvious here so this one is the Van Diemen um, parrotfish and I actually don't see much shimmer at all I say if it's anything it's it's a blue shimmer but it's barely coming through for me on this paper and it's a very even teal green ink so I actually love this color it's got something going on some nice like a tiny bit of shadowy stuff around the edges but it's also very smooth and a very nice color so we'll see if any shimmer actually shows up on this paper okay the next one that I have so we have a couple of browns and then we have some in the blue category and then the rest of these are gonna be in the purple and pink well most of them are purple and then this one is a pink so this one is by dominant industry and it is called Dusk. Now I got three of these Dominant Industry inks. They're called Dawn, Dusk, and Sunset. And I love, I love that the names of them that they call them dawn dusk and sunset I think a lot of these have you know nature natural names which I think is fantastic dusk and this one is is a pretty gray purple ink and 
it is this one. So it's it's a dark purple toned gray and it's got a very light amount of purple and pink and even some yellow. It's got a very interesting type of shimmer in there. I just think that one is gorgeous. And the shimmer is not so pronounced. You can see it much better. I mean, this one is, is super, super shimmery. And this one is just light. It really reminds me of sort of like faint stars in the sky or something like that. And I love this color. The, the way that it just shows up on in a writing is just a, a very light, purple gray which I'm in love with this one is J Urban I think they have changed the name since then to just Urban um, this one is called Blue Ocean and it's a very deep purple ink Ocean. And that one was also a very wet writer, very easy to pick up and very wet. And it's this one here in the larger swatch. So it's got some yellow, some yellow shimmer and a deep blue ink. The next one I have is Van Diemen again, um, and this one is called Twilight Mist. A very purple ink. That is a pretty color all on its own. And then let's see if we can get any shimmer. A very juicy brighter and in the larger sample it's this one so it's a very purple a, a very bright purple ink with a pinkish purple sheen and I like this one because the sheen is very strong but it doesn't overpower the ink color because it's essentially the same color. So that one is, I love this color, how it ends up looking in the writing sample. The next one I have is another one by Dominant Industries and this one is called Dawn in that same set with the Dusk. And this one is also a purple tone. It's not quite as gray, not quite as dark as the Dusk. Again, a very light ink coming out of the pen, but the other ones that have been very light coming out have actually darkened as they dried, so I am just going to not get worried for these light ones anymore because they seem to be doing just fine in the end. So, Okay, so this one is called Dawn. It is this one here. It's got a very white with some yellow and even some blue speckles in there, mostly white, and it's in a purplish blue ink. I see some blue shading here, mostly purple. Okay, and then I have Dominant Industry Sunset, so this is the last one that goes with those others. Again, a purple. This one is much more pinkish than the Dawn. Well, not much more, but 
it's more pinkish. Sunset. And another one that's very light coming out of the gate. We'll see how it dries. Still a nice wet writer. Um, actually, I would say this one is more medium. More medium. But you get, you know, a nice juicy... I was pressing down with some of these, so I have a kind of a fat, a fat nib here, but... Um, that one is right here, so it is a, it is a pink, it's, it's more of a pink, it's definitely pinkish purple, like a magenta, no, it's not quite magenta, but it's a, it's a nice, not too bright, pinkish purple, with some darker blue, darker purple shading in, around the edges, and the... The shimmer is pretty faint, and it's like an orange and yellow and pink color. And it's not too strong on that one either. This one I still can't see any at all. And then these two are also very light. So we'll see how those dry. The, these two are pretty, yeah. I was going to say these two are similar, but that one's just more evenly spread out. Okay, and then the last one I have is this Van Diemen again, Moon Jellyfish. And this is the only one that I don't like the color of. It's way too bright and the, the shimmer in it is way too overpowering. But someone else, this might be their absolute favorite ink. It is a bright hot pink with a very strong silver shimmer. And this one also is one of the ones that reminds me of those old Jelly Roll pens with that silver metallic finish. So that one is Moon Jellyfish. And I will show you here. It's got a very strong white, totally ice white finish on it and it's a bright 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 pink ink underneath so I have all my swatches here I'm gonna let these dry completely and then I will come back and we'll see what they look like in the end uh, some of these at the top we can already see how they're finishing out I'm super excited about that so I'll come right back and then we'll talk about what they look like when they're dry and I'll show you some close-ups of these swatches on the Midori paper. Alright so these have all dried and we can take a closer look at what they look like on this Midori paper. The color verse. I'll just show you what they all look like up close. And then I'll talk a little bit more about what I'm noticing. So there's some of these inks that you really can't mistake that they're shimmery inks. You see the shimmer right off the bat, even in the writing, even in the thin lines, and they are very glittery. So this half moon and the jellyfish are like that. You there's no there's no different um way you can look at them that they don't look super glittery and that's just these two there's there's some that you can you can find the glitter if you turn the page the right way but it's a little more subdued and it blends in more with the color of the ink and it's the diamine ocean enchanted ocean and the van diemen twilight mist and then there's a couple more that i mean you can find you can find the the sheen in the writing or the not the sheen I'm sorry the shimmer in the writing sample but you really have to look for it and that is troublemaker copper patina uh the J urban blue ocean and then the dominant industries dawn I would say the sunset is faint enough that I can't see it so then there's the inks that you really I mean even if you look at every angle, you cannot see 
the shimmer in just the writing. And what I'm finding for me on my paper, that's the Dominant Industry Sunset, the Dusk, the Fish, and I can see a tiny bit in the Time for Reflection, like in the E and the R, a tiny bit, but most of it I can't tell. And then there's the, these two here are so flat that if somebody told me that they had any shimmer at all, I would not believe them. And even in this swatch, even in the, the thick swatch here, this one is so sheening that you can't really see the underlying ink color. It's all sheen. Even the the shininess that you see is all sheen. There's a tiny, tiny, tiny patch right there that would be shimmer and a tiny patch right there but otherwise I mean it's it's really hard to see shimmer in in this and this one has a couple of tiny patches but it's also even in the large swatch hard to see the shimmer on those two um that being said there are some gorgeous inks here regardless of the the shimmer qualities and my absolute favorites of this set are the Dominant Industries. All three of these are just gorgeous colors written out. This, this different um, aggregation of color, like separating out to the blue and the pink, I love that. And it does it even in the writing sample. You can see how the edges of these letters are more blue, a little darker color. Same with these. I just love those two inks. And in general, all of the, just doing this whole thing um, just reminds me of being a kid and having, you know, the glitter pens. But I can put them in my fountain pens. I also, this Half Moon with Dim Light is also just really gorgeous. It's a blue gray, a shiny blue and a dull gray together. And I think in writing, it just turns out very interesting. And then the one that I was kind of surprised by is this Winter Spice. I loved the brown when I saw it in my sample, but over here, the green and blue, so it has a green sheen to it and a blue shimmer, and they take over. They take over in this, and they take over in the in the writing as well and I don't like the color that it reads as there but I mean it's a very interesting ink with tons of different properties I'm sure it will act different on every paper um, you try it on so it'll definitely be fun to play around with these more but for now the ones I'm most excited to use are these dominant industry inks so there we go the close-ups um, I forgot to mention this one. So the Colorverse, I, it does show a lot of shading in the painted swatch, but even in the writing sample, and especially in this, you can just see how much shading that ink has to it with all those darker patches. I, that was, that was something that I didn't quite expect, um, or notice in the original paint out of it. So, and then just this color set here is gorgeous with all these purples and blues. So yeah, that's all the swatches I have for you today. Just a little shimmeriness. And I hope you liked the video. I'll see you in the next one.